Hello all, welcome to part 69 of TestNG training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to avoid screenshot overriding. So let's get started. So in the previous session, I showed you how to generate a screenshot only for the failed automation tests, right? But when you run the same scripts again, the older generated screenshot will be replaced by the newly generated screenshot if the test still fails. So I want to avoid that, okay? So here is the project, guys. As you already know, here is a project. Okay, this is a project we were using and uh, I deleted the screenshots folder. I'll run the scripts for the first time. Uh, intentionally, I'm failing one of the test guys. This login test I'm failing. Intentionally, I provided ABC text here. So it will fail. Remaining all tests will pass. But for this particular failed test, a screenshot will be taken and provided under the screenshots folder. We'll see that, okay? So how this uh, screenshot got generated for this particular failed test, that I already covered in the previous session. Okay, you can look into the previous session, guys, where I showed you and practically demonstrated how to generate a screenshot only for the failed test. I'm just repeating, just, just running the scripts to show you the screenshot uh, which will get generated for the failed test. Okay. So let all the 12 automation scripts run. Once they run, you see all the 12 automation scripts got run in that 11 got passed and one got failed. And for that failed one, if I refresh this project, if I refresh this project, we'll see a screenshots folder under the screenshots folder. There is a screenshot for the failed test. Okay. This is the reason for the failure. Okay. Here edit your account information. ABC should be there, but edit your account information is there. Okay. So we intentionally failed it. That's okay. Now what I will do is I'll run the script again. This time when I run the script, this older screenshot, okay, this particular test, one of the tests in this login class will again fail and again a screenshot will be taken. That newly taken screenshot is going to replace the older screenshot. I want the older screenshot and the latest screenshot, but when I run the script, only one screenshot will exist. That is our latest one. The older one will be overridden or replaced by the latest one. So if I run this again, you'll see that the script will, the test, one of the test, the login test uh, in the login class will again fail and new screenshot will be taken. That new screenshot is going to replace this screenshot rather than keeping a copy of the older screenshot along with the new screenshot. Okay, that's a problem statement. I wanted to show you first before showing you how to keep multiple screenshots, older and how to maintain older and the latest screenshots before I show you. Let's see that. How many screenshots will be there? Only one will be there. That is the latest one. The old one will be replaced by the latest one. Let all the scripts run and we'll see that in action. Okay, again, one got failed. And if I refresh this project here again, if I refresh this project, you'll see only one screenshot is there. That means this screenshot is latestly generated and the older screenshot, which was generated in the previous run got deleted. And in place of that, this one has been put. So the same screenshot will be there anyhow. Okay, if I open that, you'll see the same screenshot. So how to overcome this problem? So to overcome this problem, uh, if you don't want to override the screenshot to get not get replaced or overridden by the latest screenshot, one solution is that we can add a timestamp to this naming of the screenshot, okay? So what I will do is I'll go to this base. Uh, if you remember in the previous session, we moved the code for taking the screenshot into a separate method inside the base class that is take screenshot method, right? So here, what I will do is I'll create one more method, the base class that is public void, generate timestamp like this, okay? Generate timestamp I will create. So here, what I will do in the generate timestamp, I'll write the code, okay? Date, date is equal to new date. This is from Java, guys. This code is from Java. Date, date is called new date. So date, date dot to string. So I'll simply say written directly, okay? Written, written date dot to string dot replace. So in this uh, date, which is uh, converted to string, there will be some spaces and colon symbols, guys, okay? 
so i can show you practically if you want okay i'll create something like new i'll uh, sorry i just created wrong one right click new temporarily i'll create a package package known as experiment package and in this i'll create a class and i'll just say demo class and i'll select main method guys this time only for this time inside the main method i'll show you how this code will work first i need to create an object for the date class in java date date is equal to new date like this now import this date from java.util package after that if i say system.order.println date.toString if i say it will print the date today's date okay how it will print let's see that okay right click run as java application you will see that date will be printed it will contain some spaces guys okay so there are some exists uh, uh, proceed guys okay we uh, will modify that anyhow okay you see the date will be printed like this uh, some space is there space is there space is there here colon symbols are there what i want to do is i want to replace that spaces okay instead of spaces i want underscore there underscore there so that i can use this uh, date time timestamp as a timestamp like uh, as a name okay single word for that i am re replacing the space if spaces are there they will be considered multiple words but i want to uh, use that date timestamp as a single word for that i am replacing the space in the printed timestamp with underscore symbol so every word will be connected here and here colon also i will be replacing dot replace i'll replace colon with underscore once it is done if i run this code you will see that a single word will be printed okay single word will be printed guys like this you see it is a single word this is a timestamp single word which will which i want to append with the screenshot name okay at the end of the screenshot name i want to append this timestamp okay so that the older screenshot name will be different from the latest run screenshot okay that's what is the logic i want to implement so here hope you are able to understand this date logic i'll delete this experiment now because you understood how to take care of the date now what i will do is here i'll simply say written i am that's directly saying date date dot to string replace space with what underscore i am replacing the space with underscore and also i am replacing the colon also colon symbol also with underscore symbol and this method is going to return the timestamp in a single word format here i have to modify that to string okay here i have to modify that to string that's done now what i will do here is every time i run the automation scripts okay every time i run the automation scripts i want to give a different test name here okay the file name should be different so what i will do here is here i'll copy this uh, generate timestamp method and i'll call this method from here okay i'll say plus generate timestamp what happens along with the test name timestamp word will be appended so that every time the file name will be different dot png extension will be always there this is very simple logic guys this will not override the previous screenshot okay so every time you run the scripts every time you run the scripts okay you will get a new screenshot okay so just let me give a new email address here a bit okay so before i run otherwise it will give different failures so anyhow right click uh, run as uh, test ng suit this see here guys so you will get a new screenshot old this older screenshot will not be deleted instead a new screenshot with a timestamp appended will be added so you can have the older screenshot and uh, the latest screenshot be appended with the timestamp okay no matter how many times you run you will get the timestamp a new screenshot will be created for you without deleting the older one this is one way to avoid the replacing or overriding of the older screenshot with the latest one when you are running the scripts let all the automation scripts run you will see that once i refresh the project you will see that the older screenshot will not be deleted and uh, the latest screenshot also will be there yeah one test as expected failed now refresh the project now you'll see you see older screenshot is still there and latest screenshot with the timestamp the latest timestamp is there okay because of this timestamp this older screenshot is not getting deleted if, what if i run this again another screenshot will come now okay the test will again fail and uh, the older two screenshots will not be deleted and latest screenshot with the latest timestamp in the file name will be created without any problem 
this is what we wanted to achieve guys okay every time you run the automation scripts you want a new screenshot to be created without deleting the older one okay the previous run screenshot should still be there let's wait okay now refresh the project one test got failed here let's refresh the project to see the screenshot refresh and you see you got another screenshot with the latest timestamp here 20 is there 21 48 50 is there okay so like this guys uh, this word is a way or process okay in which we have to deal this situation of avoiding the screenshot overriding from the previous runs by replacing the older screenshot with the latest screenshot latest run screenshots okay by just appending the timestamp we can achieve this so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to cover another testing topic for you till then see you bye bye